I just made five million dollars. Five million. That's five million dollars the past month investing. As you can see, I have more than one hundred million dollars. Subscribe to my channel so I can teach you how to make millions. Let me tell you about my day so far. Coffee in Paris, surfed the Maldives, took a little nap on Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh yeah, and then I jumped back for the final quarter of the NBA Finals. Of course that, of course. And all that was before lunch. I could go on, but all I'm saying is, I'm standing on top of the world. The worst one is New Age Beverage Corporation, which of course is was barely a penny stock and barely overcame the penny stock level. And then Aurora Cannabis at, at the blue that we see over here is the second to last one that we can see. So it's the least popular according to Google Trends. But on Robinhood, Aurora Cannabis is the most popular. Now, I've made videos on Aurora Cannabis, on Kronos Group Inc., on Canopy Corporation, on Tilray, and in my estimation, Aurora Cannabis seems to be the most popular. More people seem to be more interested in Aurora Cannabis. Even though Aurora Cannabis is that blue line all the way on the bottom, more people in the short term seem to be more interested in Aurora Cannabis. And then from my from my videos, I also noticed that after Aurora Cannabis comes Kronos Group Corporation. And then after that is Can Canopy Kronos Group Inc. Excuse me. And then it's Canopy Growth Corporation. And then it's Tilray at the end. But I have not made a New Age Beverage Corporation video yet. So subscribe to my channel. Like this video. And I'll keep making more video on these marijuana stocks. And stay tuned to my New Age Beverage Corporation stock. Thank you for watching. One thing about this company is that they've a certain proximity from the personification of redundant axioms presupposed upon tautological repetitions and enhance and enhance their paradoxical paradigms through redundant innovations. Warren Buffett, the billionaire investor, once said, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful by billionaire Warren Buffett. And essentially what this means is when everybody, when, when traders are greedy, they'll keep on buying and buying and buying and driving the price up and thinking that it's going to keep on going up and up and up. But eventually what ends up happening is it, the st stock ends up tumbling back down to earth from the moon because of greed and then a, and people that's how people lose a lot of money and when Warren Buffett says be greedy when others are fearful what he means is that when others are fearful because the stock plummets and everyone starts selling their stocks at a discount that's the time you want to 
start buying companies. That's the right time to buy. But usually, people start selling. People call it a crash, and that word crash scares people. But really, let's change. Let's change the definition. Instead of crash, let's call it. Let's call it a discount. That's essentially what it is. A discount. That's really what it also all about. So as we can see, the fear and greed index by CNN. What emotion is driving the market right now? What emotion? Right now, the greed is driving the market right now, and the reason for that is, as we can see, the McKellen volume summarization index measures advancing and declining volume on the New York Stock Exchange during the last month, approximately. 8.23% more of each day's volume has traded in advancing issues than in declining issues, pushing this indicator forward the upper end of its range for the last two years. And as we can see, the stock price strength, that was the breath, but the stock market, the stock price strength, the number of stocks hitting 52 week high. 52 weeks highs exceeds the number of hitting lows and is at the upper end of its range, indicating extreme grade. As we can see, that's why the the market kept going back up and up. As we can see, it's in the greed territory. And as we can look at the safe haven demand, the difference in 20-day stock and bond returns Stock have outperformed bonds by 2.92 percentage points during the last 20 trading days. This is close to the strongest performance of stocks relative to bonds in the past two years and indicates investors and rotating with stocks from the relative safety of bonds. And when we look at the put and call options, the CBOE five day average, the put call ratio during the last five trading days, volume and put options has flagged volume, lagged volume in call options by 36.82%. As investors make bullish bets in their portfolios however this is among the lowest levels of put buying seen during the last two years indicating greed on the part of investors and when we look at the market volatility the vix and its 50-day moving average the cboe Volatility index is at 15.72. This is neutral reading and indicates the market risks appears low. And when we look at the junk bond market, the yield spread between junk bonds versus investment grades, invest in low quality junk bonds are accepting 1.74 percentage points an additional yield over safer investment grade corporate bonds this spread is much higher than what has been typical during the last two years and indicates that investors are highly risk averse. When we look at the market momentum, the S&P 500 and its 125 day moving average, the S&P 500 is 1.04.